Why aren't you helping? This is an emergency, life or death situation that requires your immediate attention. Once again, this is a very serious situation. Please activate the terminal in front of you and follow the inst instructions. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. There was no emergency. I was simply evaluating your ability to respond and react to a stressful situation. That's my job. I'm here to help you. So, do you really want to try this again? You've been at this for far too long. And, for some reason, you seem really stressed out. Your answers from the questionnaire, they weren't incorrect. Just not what I was looking for. Do you at least remember how this all works? Very impressive. This is all a very good sign. When you're ready, you may enter the simulation. Just step inside. Relax. respond well to that memory. It was from a better time in your life, before the endless hours of hard work and to question all the choices you've made. But perhaps things are different now. Are you ready to continue? I hope you have the mental fortitude to remember what happens next. Something very meaningful had occurred. Your office. You were always there. Late at night. The hippocampus is critical only for recent memories, but not for older ones. Over time, the hippocampus teaches the surrounding brain, the cortex, how to represent a memory. An alternative theory accounts for these discrepancies by proposing that the hippocampus selectively stores one type of memory, episodic, while the surrounding cortex stores another, semantic. In a window square, it would be re-recording. It would be re-recorded, and now this is another copy. Now it's simply another copy. It's copied many times in both the hippocampus and the cortex. All of those cortical copies generate a new semantic. In theory, if you were to store these memories, it would be possible to preserve their integrity. This is, of course, assuming the memories were accurate to begin with. You seem, you seem to be making connections to your past. I'm glad you haven't completely lost your mind. Now let's continue with this train of thought and see where it takes you. waiting for you. Why aren't you help? Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. There was no emergency. I was simply a failure. That's my job. I'm here to help you. 
So where should we begin? What do you remember? To be honest, I'm a little concerned about your current mental state. Your answers from the questionnaire... Oh, well... Odd. Do you at least remember how this all works? Does this place look familiar? This is your home. Where you lived with your wife? It's about quarter after five. I uh, just tried to get the office, but you didn't answer. Listen, you need to be careful. Y your theory is based on initial assumptions that may not be accurate. You could hurt yourself. Also, we need to talk about 558F. You know, I can't just sit here and watch time go by. Get back to me. all happening too fast. Not like before. We don't want you to end up like... Never mind what I said. It's important that you remain calm and follow any memory you can at this point. Always coming back to the office. So many problems you've created. If only... You had more time.
about a quarter after five. I just tried to get the office, but he didn't answer. Listen, you need to be careful. It's about quarter after five.